<laughs> what women want, CBS Sunday. Glenda, Glenda, what happened? Uh, I'm gonna be a star. <laughs> oh, weird, isn't it? She seemed like uber nurse at the hospital. Oh, that nice producer said that. Oh, you need to go live home together, now. okay? No, you need to go home. What nice producer? Like, she doesn't know what she's talking no, about. She's one drunk, that's Mike. gonna make a reality show starring me and some. Mysterious millionaire. <laughs> His name's Harvey. No, you're tanked R. and you're Perry. tanked and you need to go home oh, now. No. Let Nursey Nursey check your bandage. No, no checking. <laughs> you're fired. All right, you go. Can't fire me. Uh, your girlfriend can't fire me. She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> so I'm not fired. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you are. I got enough problems. I don't need a. a nurse with a drinking problem. Oh, great. Just ruin my television career. I'll call Nursey Nursey a cab. Looks like you're gonna need someone else to take care of you now. Yeah, but you're not that someone. So what's the answer? Who is the real Marsha Travers? The man who raped my mother or the man who threw this wonderful party for his daughter? You know, I never meant to hurt Jessica. I was obsessed, half in love. I mean, I crossed a line, Bonnie, that I swear at the time I didn't even know was there. That doesn't explain why you made things worse for her. After you were charged, you continued to humiliate her. You ran a smear campaign, you tried to ruin her reputation. I, I was wrong. Bonnie, when you go to law school, when you compete for partnerships, it's easy to forget that some things matter more than winning. I met your father, Marshall. I know for a fact he didn't forget to teach you the difference between right and wrong. Well, lately I've been thinking a lot about something else he taught me. How to be a good dad. And a good friend. And I realized. Yes? I realized that that's the kind of man I want to be. I don't want to make the mistakes like the mistakes I made with your mother. I want to pay attention to Sarah's feelings. And yours. Come on, we're gonna play the mummy game. And you guys are going to make an excellent pair. <laughs> Come on. Forcing Travers own daughter to testify against him. Don't you think the child has been through enough? The man raped me, Ben. He does not get to set up house with my daughter. Jess, Jess, even testimony from Sarah doesn't guarantee us a conviction. What do you think Travers is going to do when he finds out that you intend to put Sarah on the stand? In a perfect world, he'll pack up his bags and he'll get out of Oakdale and there won't even be a trial. What if he decides to stay and fight? Then Sarah takes the stand. Look, it's Marshall's call. If he doesn't want to subject his child to shame and humiliation, then he has to leave my child alone. You want me to move out? Paul, oh, you can't be serious. I think you got 10 minutes to get out of here. It doesn't get more serious than that. Paul, please. This discussion is over. What happened when I was gone? What did Rose say to you? Rose didn't say a word. You did all the talking. Come on, give me a number. How much will it take this time to, to break them apart for hey, good? Jennifer, I don't want your money. If Rose wants your brother, that's up to her. Everybody gets hurt. You understand? Families get broken up. Life goes on. You do what you gotta do. Watch the crossfire. Fine. I'll get Rose away from Paul, with or without your help. I don't know where that tape came from. It doesn't matter where it came from. I think it spells out pretty clearly what you and Dusty were doing. Jennifer, why? Why would you do this to me? No, Paul, because, because I love you. Because I 
will not stand by and watch this lying piece of trash hurt hey, you hey, again. Hey, Stop. who are you calling names? Listen, Paul, you're my brother. You're my brother. I was there before you put the armor on. I know. I know you inside. You still can get hurt, and I can't stand to watch that again. Did Barbara coach you? Because you're the spitting image of her right now. Oh, don't do that. I tried, but she won. Congratulations. You're like a little miniature barber. As the World Turns is sponsored by Crest White Strips. Crest White Strips, noticeably whiter teeth in 14 days, guaranteed. If you ever had to choose a paint color, you know there are whites and there are whites. Same with teeth. Let's say this is how white your teeth are now. This is the white you get using this nighttime whitener. Now, compare it to the white you get with Crest White Strips. They're clinically proven to whiten five times better. So your teeth will not only be white, they'll be white. Crest White Strips, the secret to a whiter smile is in the strip, guaranteed. is a new scent that's blossoming with orchard freshness. New Bounce Summer Orchard. It gives all your fabrics the freshness of an orchard in summertime. Summer Orchard Scent, new from Bounce. My hair color does something yours doesn't. Because it's new Garnier Nutrice, the only hair color that nourishes with grapeseed and avocado oils. Rich, radiant color, all because Nutrice means nourish. So hair takes color better and holds it longer, root to tip. And speaking of color, nourished hair means better color. And grays, gone, guaranteed. Can your hair color do all that? New Garnier Nutrice. Nourished hair, better color. Garnier, trust them, they're experts. Allergy congestion won't ruin my life again. The most important breakthrough in the history of allergy relief. Full prescription strength Claritin D tablets are now available without a prescription. Non-drowsy, all day Claritin D. My doctor prescribed Claritin-D, and now I can get it without a prescription. Claritin-D relieves even my worst allergy symptoms, my congestion, my sneezing, and my sinus pressure. Claritin-D never makes me feel sleepy, and I can breathe. Claritin-D, now available without a prescription. How this man helped capture the alleged sniper suspects. Tomorrow on The Early Show. These are yours. Your son needs those to open up tomorrow. Aaron is not going to be opening or closing this place. So take him off the schedule. He is done. Well, he better tell me that himself. <sighs> Maybe you didn't hear what I said. My kid. Your kid's a man. Or at least he's trying to be. By helping you run a bookie joint? By making drops for you and getting busted for it? My kid isn't becoming a man. He's becoming you. He could do a lot worse.
No, Paul. Do not compare me to Mom. That is not fair. Well, why not? Because your mom puts us through hell, and you are obviously taking over her job, judging by that tape. Oh, oh how do they say it in Jersey, Rose? Hmm? Oh, yeah, butt out. This argument is between my brother and me. Well, maybe you're not hearing your brother when he says the Donnie and Marie show has been canceled. Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Rose is trying to cut you off from everyone who loves you, Paul. You, you hate our family, and you're not going to be satisfied until Paul hates the rest of you us. You need to stop it. You're way out of line. Really? Oh, well, unfortunately, I don't have a tape recorder. But your fiancé here was telling me that taking you away from this crazy family would be the best wedding present that she could give you. Uh, I wanted to get him away from the backstabbing, the manipulation, this. Well, here, right here. Yeah, right, yeah. Well, what about Will, Rose? Hmm? Come on, you shouldn't have secrets between couples. Did you or did you not say that you do not care about our oh, brother? I, I love him. I love Will, you know that. What I meant, well, you're twisting everything around clearly that you don't have to be responsible for the rest of the world, that you should get what you want to carry yourself for a change. Right, so when I was talking about you guys moving to Paris and how much it is gonna hurt Will, you did not say, and I quote, would you shut up about Will? I don't care about Will. You said that? She's leaving out a very, very important part, that Will can come visit us anytime he wants to. She's just trying to appease you, Paul. I'm the oh. one who understands how much Will means to you. I'm the one who knows how much you hurt when you break a promise to your brother. So why am I a threat? Why am I the one you want to throw out? Because, Jennifer, you are the one who tried to set me up. Oh, I am... I am so... I am so sorry. Oh. I... I should have never gone to Dusty, I know that, but I didn't know what else to do. I don't know how to get through to you. Well, then, by all means, set me up. You know, that would have never been an option if Dusty and Rose didn't still have a thing for each other. I don't know what Dusty's been telling you, but let me make this very clear to you. What I had with Dusty is over. Right, right. So over that you went and got engaged to my brother just to get back at Dusty. Oh, I got engaged with Molly. to your brother because I love him. Just like you loved Dusty. Watch out, Paul. You're marrying a woman here who could be gaga over a guy one day and then be ordering a wedding cake with stop, his worst Jennifer, enemy the stop next. Stop it. You have no idea what you're talking about. Let me just give you one piece of advice. I'd watch out for the future Mrs. Paul Ryan when she's alone in Paris. Because I wouldn't want you to come home to your apartment and find her in bed with a waiter from the corner hey, bistro. Don't you dare lay a hand on my sister. <laughs> Those kids over there are gonna beat us. Five, four, three, two, one. And the winners are Maddie and Derek. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Next year, baby. Next year, we're going to win this. Does anyone else want some punch? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Sarah? Yeah, I'll, I'll have some. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> you look like a giant march. Congratulations, Bonnie. Oh, you for what? Because we just lost. <laughs> well, the game, maybe, but uh, you and Marshall are looking pretty good as co-parents. And it wasn't so long ago you were willing to risk jail rather than allow Marshall to be a father to Sarah. Well, I decided to put my feelings for Marshall aside. For Sarah's sake. I'm glad that I did. Otherwise, I may have never seen what kind of father he could really be. I'm glad things worked out this way. Me too. And we're a little short on happy endings around here. <laughs> Bonnie, come on. I thought I was supposed to be getting punched. Uh, yeah. Well, now it's time to bob for apples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And don't even try to tell me you're worried about messing up your hair. Are you kidding me? You don't know how long I've waited to go tell you to go soak your head. <laughs> So, what did the judge say? Well, he can't advise directly, but he had some good advice for me. Stay away from this case. So you're not going to prosecute? A new trial is going to be risky and expensive, and I can't waste taxpayers' money trying to sell something personal. I see. I never thought you'd let me down, Tom. Well, how about a compromise? How about I don't take the case to trial, but I green light an arrest? 
That way, Marsha will be arrested for the crime of rape, and since he doesn't have the know, I won't be taking the case forward. Then I can use the prospect of putting Sarah on the stand as leverage. You can do anything you want. You can paste his picture all over the front of the City Times. You can tell him his daughter's going to testify that he admitted raping you. You can use all the pressure you want. There just won't be a trial. Besides, I don't think you want to put a troubled 15-year-old through that kind of trauma. No, no, of course I don't. Do I issue an arrest warrant? Can you live with what's about to happen? I don't like it. Well, I don't like it either, Ben. I mean, no one likes it. But Marshall Travers isn't the only one who's going to have his face plastered all over the front page of the City Times. Now, you remember the first trial? They couldn't, they couldn't decide who was telling the truth and who wasn't. I don't want to open the door to that kind of pain again, Jess. But that door is open for me. And now that Bonnie's involved, I, it's the only thing I can think of. I mean, I honestly believe this is the only way that we can get Marshall out of our lives for good. Then can you stand by me while I fight this fight? Yeah. Nothing else I can do. Let's do it. Have Marshall arrested and charged. Once you start this, there is no turning back. You sure this is what you want? Yeah, I'm sure. With Celebrex, I will no longer give in to the joint pain of osteoarthritis. With Celebrex, I will not stop at 9 when I really want to play 18. These are just a few of the 23 million people who have discovered Celebrex. Celebrex has proven strength. In fact, doctors prescribe Celebrex more than any other brand. Just one Celebrex provides up to 24 hours of relief from the pain of osteoarthritis. One pill, 24 hours. With Celebrex, I will not settle for part-time relief. Celebrex should not be taken if you've had aspirin-sensitive asthma or allergic reactions due to aspirin or other arthritis medicines or certain drugs called sulfonamides. In rare cases, serious stomach problems such as bleeding can occur without warning. Tell your doctor if you have kidney or liver problems. If you're struggling with joint pain, maybe you should stop trying to manage it by yourself. Ask your doctor about Celebrex. Take control of your joint pain with the proven strength of Celebrex. With Celebrex, I will not give in. Sounds Dollhouse from Fisher Price. Where imagination comes over to play. Cupcakes for dinner. Can I stay? Don't feel good. Hey! Come in now for TGI Friday's double glazed ribs. They're basted with our rich Tennessee glaze, then finished with Friday's tangy barbecue sauce. Tear into double glazed ribs. Only at Friday's. Where's the cake? We're not having cake. Uh-oh. Hey, yum, 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 yummy. Only Oust air sanitizer kills odor-causing bacteria in the air. I thought Lysol was an air sanitizer. It's true. Lysol works on surfaces, but it's not meant for the air. Only Oust air sanitizer kills 99.9% .9 of odor-causing bacteria in the air. Oust is an air sanitizer. It doesn't just cover up the odors. It eliminates them. Spray the owl spray, and it eliminates whatever odor there was. It smells really clean. I think it's great. Get odor-causing bacteria out with Oust Air Sanitizer. S.E. Johnson, a family company. I love it. Now on Disney DVD and video, it's back to Ape Mountain, where everyone is monkeying around. Hello. George of the Jungle 2, now on Disney DVD and video. Rated PG. And they say humans are more evolved. Rediscover the skin nature intended you to have with Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Made with oatmeal, which holds moisture naturally, Aveeno lasts for 24 hours. Aveeno. Discover nature's secret for healthy skin. 
Well, I got Nurse Glenda into a cab. Oh, she smells like a frat house at 4 a.m. I just don't get it. I mean, she had incredible references. Never would have pegged her as a type to show up drunk to work, especially on the first day. Do I need a shower? <laughs> no, you're fine. You know, so am I, so get out of here. It's gonna be ages before you're even close to being fine. But it's not your problem, all right? You didn't do this to me. Well, you know what? You still need help, so just get used to the fact that I'm sticking around. Hey, hey all I wanted was to be home and out of the hospital, and I am, so go. You sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Sure you don't need me? Get the phone so I can call the hospital and the nurse that over here. All right, I'll give you the phone on one condition. You let me sleep here tonight. Marshall Travers. Daddy? You have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Holden, well, Dusty's done a lot for Aaron. I don't know. I think you should be grateful. <laughs> You're right. Billy and I owe you a big thanks. If you hadn't been around, Aaron never would have been arrested. Aaron knew exactly what he was getting into. He knew the possible consequences, and he took the risk anyway. And if it weren't for Dusty, Aaron would be in jail. It's okay, no, I can defend myself. I'm not defending you or anybody else. I just want the facts to be kept on the table. And the facts are, Dusty is facing criminal charges. Aaron is not. Aaron had no idea what he was getting involved with. You had him running errands like he was going to the store for milk and forgot to tell him that he might end up getting busted. Making the kind of money your son was making. Believe me when I say he knew that he wasn't making a milk run. You know, I tried to tell him that you were going to get him into trouble, but he just wouldn't listen. Well, you know, maybe because your cousin's a top cop, he thought he had some kind of protection. No, my family doesn't work that way. That's why when Jack told me what was going down, I let Aaron suffer the consequences. You knew that Jack was going to bust Aaron? And you're sitting here blaming me for setting up your son? When it looks like you did a fine job yourself, pal. He wants to stop it. Nobody wants to see a cat fight. I tell Miss Kitty here to back off. Rose, maybe you could give me a minute alone with Jennifer. Excuse me? Oh, I had trouble sharing too once, Rose. Then I turned six. What I'm stop talking it. about. How Both of you stop it. Please, just please. Just a few minutes. Think I'm catty? You should hear her when you're not Cutty, around. This isn't about Rose. Yeah, of course it's about Rose. It's no. all about Rose. She, she's trying to divorce you from everyone that you grew up with. What she's trying to do is protect me from the people in my family who were trying to hurt me. And that used to be like a very small club. It was James and Barbara. Now, for some reason, you've decided that you want to join the club. No. J just because I happen to agree with Mom on one thing does not mean that I am suddenly joining her team. I would never turn on you, Paul. You're my brother. Do you have any idea? How much I love you. You sound just like her. The things that Barbara's done and then justified in the end by saying that, it, that no, she did it for love. No, what mom does is all about control. That is not me, Paul. I am not a control freak. I am scared to death for you. All I wanted was for you to be on my side. 
I wanted you and Rose to be friends. Oh, Paul, listen to me, please. Rose cannot be trusted, especially because she still has feelings for Dusty. Oh, stop it. No, you're just saying that because you want to think that. No, I do not want to think that. I wish to God that she loved you the way that you deserve to be loved, but she doesn't, and I know it. Paul, that is the reason why she wants me kicked out, because she knows I am not fooled by her. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Paul, don't let her do this to me or to you. Coming up on As the World Turns. You picked a fight with the wrong man, Jessica, and it's gonna cost you. Your career, your reputation, and your daughter. That's a promise. So your gut is telling you that Rose is a fake. Now do something about it and finish it. The great fall fashion event is going on right now at Sears. I get to put on a jacket again. New sweaters. I need a coat that looks good with everything. Right now, find great savings on snuggly sweaters and warm coats for the whole family. Plus, find great fitting men's Levi's jeans on sale. And Sears now has Land's End. Come see the latest fall bestsellers that have just arrived. Great quality sweaters and coats in every color for the entire family. Come in right now for the Sears Great Fall Fashion Event. Sears. Good life, great price. For the best relief from extra dry skin, try Curel Ultra Healing Lotion. Curel heals like a cream, but feels like a lotion. It's the best of both worlds in one. For the best relief from extra dry skin, get the Curel. The experts at Oral-B are on a mission to protect your teeth and gums. With the new Oral-B Professional Care 7000, its unique 3D action cleans so deep, it prevents and even reverses gum disease. Oral-B Professional Care. Brush like a dentist. What's going on here? Ouch! That's got a smart. Looks like Junior could use some help. Hang on, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, nice shot. You know, you gotta be more careful. I don't think he's listening. New Cottonelle Ultra Toilet Paper. The softest, thickest, most absorbent Cottonelle. Hey, you could use four legs. Cottonelle, looking out for the family. If you use Imatrex, here's a special offer just for you. Save $60 on your next six refills of prescription Imatrex just by calling 1-800-IMATREX or visiting our website at imatrex.com. Don't wait to save. Call or visit today. Do you love lots of butter on your popcorn? We've got good news. Orville Redenbacher's Ultimate Butter Gourmet Popping Corn. Tastes so buttery, you'll want to kick back, relax, and start popping today. It's tough not having a car. With immediate claim service, GEICO gets you back on the road fast. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Tonight is the night of Survivor Showdowns. First, it's Scrawn versus Braun. You do more not to do work than do it work. Just shut up. Then a backbreaking challenge becomes a standoff. And is it the ultimate act of betrayal? Rupert has a hell of a lot of power right now. Oh man, this is crazy. All new Survivor, CBS Tonight. Friday, a dangerous mission turns suicidal. I need to land on your ship. You can't land a C-130 on a carrier. Clear the deck! All new JAG, CBS Friday. Coming up on Allie and Jack, I have a surprise for Jack. And I have a surprise for Allie. And, and we, we have both a have a surprise for, for Holly Robinson. Yes, Pink. we do. And a cheap and fun way to jazz up your jeans. So stay with us. It's going to be crazy. Ready to take control of your credit card debt? Credit Guard of America cut my monthly payments in half. Credit Guard of America is a nonprofit service that's helped thousands of people to move on with their lives. Credit Guard of America saved me over $13,000 in interest fees alone. Call now to reduce your monthly payments. Cut the interest rates on your credit cards by up to half and get your unsecured debt paid off years earlier. Don't you owe it to yourself to work with a real nonprofit service? Call now to find out how to receive a free credit report. Call 800-514-5235. 
Who will Lynch Auto Group finance a car for? Everyone! Even if you're the bad credit, no credit, Ben Rebo, nobody will loan to type of guy. Everyone! How about if you're self-employed? You know, you get paid cash. Say you're a handyman, a waitress, a bellboy. We finance everyone, guaranteed. Buy a new Ford ZX2 for $89.95. A 2004 Chevy Cavalier for $93.90. Call the Lynch Auto Group or visit the Lynch Mile on Irving Park. Park Road. Diane Burns and Antonio Mora, weeknights only on CBS 2 News. The greatest TV reunion in history, CBS at 75, live Sunday, November 2nd. What's it going to be? Oh, I can't live with your sister. Jennifer, I love you, but you need to leave. Paul. Unless you can find a way to support me, to support us. I can't support something that will hurt you. Oh, that's it. That's it. That is it. You need to go. This just isn't, this isn't working at all. Fine. I will leave, but I will not stop caring. And I will not stop trying to keep Rose from ruining your life. really hard for you. But maybe you maybe need a little time. Are you still mad at me about the private investigator? No, no, no. I'm not mad at okay. you. No, no, no. That, you did what you had to do. Isn't it better, though, that we know that Jennifer and what your, Jennifer and your mom are up to? This way, Dusty, and then you cannot get involved? And... Yeah. Okay. I'm mad at you at all. I'm gonna go degenerate for the place. Here's the deal. You do what you can probably have Rose back in my bed whenever I want. It's still there. I can't even believe it. You knew the cops were on to us, and you let your own son make the draft. It's like I said, I let my son take the consequences of his own actions. It's better he learns now while he's young and has nothing to lose. <laughs> nothing to lose except his job, his self-esteem, and his girl? <sighs> it's, what do you know about being a parent? Don't pretend to understand anything about this. I know a thing or two, and it's making me sick. <sighs> Holden? What? Is Dusty right? Could you have prevented Aaron's arrest? Yeah. I could have let Aaron know not to make the drop. But what then? Then he could trust you. I'm scared for him, because he could, he used to count on you. Yeah, you know what? I counted on you. You swore to me that you were going to look after my son when he started working here. I had no idea that Dusty was doing something illegal. I didn't. I swear I didn't. Now, I really don't think you would have warned Aaron anyway, even if you had known if Dusty was into something. You probably would have just shrugged it off, because that's what you do when it comes to Dusty. You just turn your head and look the other way, right? Dusty is a lot of things. Not all of them good. But he would never set up his own kid. I was looking after my son, and I thought you were helping me with that. Man, I'll tell you this. I will not make that mistake again. I know that somewhere along the way you became my buddy, but when did you become my best friend? When you weren't looking. I'm looking now. And I'm grateful. There must be some mistake. I haven't done anything wrong. Daddy, what's happening? Uh, um, nothing, honey. Just a little misunderstanding, okay? Let's go. Okay, wait a minute. There must be some mistake. Mr. Bonnie, Travers has Bonnie. been with me all evening. Bonnie, stay out of this, all right? I need you to take care of Sarah. Not until I find out what this is all about. What exactly are you charging Mr. Travers with? Bonnie, not now, all right? Just stay here. I need you to stay with Sarah. Well, I want to come with you. I understand that, honey. But look, I want you to stay and hang out and have fun with your friends, okay? I'll get things sorted out, and I'll meet you back at home. 
Okay, come on. I'll call you from the station house. Go on, baby. Going back to your party. What are the charges? District Attorney Hughes is reopening the rape case. Right. District Attorney Hughes, who just happens to be Jessica Griffin's boss. How does she talk him into it? What does she think she's doing? I don't know, but you're gonna need a lawyer. You're not spending the night here. Why not? The hospital's not going to send over another nurse before the morning. And if you fall or something and I'm not here, you're not even going to be able to get to the phone to call for help. I'll manage. No. You're hurt. You can't move. You have no choice. All right, one night, just tonight. That's it, okay? First thing in the morning, I'm calling the hospital and getting a real nurse sent over here. Oh, yeah, well, your last real nurse was a real drunk, remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't laugh, don't laugh. It hurts. I'm sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> They say laughter is best medicine, just not yet. Do you need something? Should I get your medicine? No, no, no. It's too early for my next dose. It's just, just trying to get up that just it messed me up. Maybe I should take you to the hospital. Do you think you broke uh -uh. something else? I'm not going back there. Well, show me what hurts then. Maybe I can do something. Better me than whoever's at the ER right now. <laughs> I swear, you're so stubborn. <laughs> Mike, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. What are you apologizing for? I just want to feel clear, wide open. I want to feel like myself again. I just want the pressure to leave. Introducing Tylenol Sinus Severe Congestion. It relieves more symptoms than even the leading sinus prescription. No more singing the blues. The new Tylenol Sinus. What's the hot new thing in active wear? The Bengay Pain Relieving Patch. It's what everyone's wearing to get deep heating relief in a patch that lasts up to eight hours. Try on the new Bengay Pain Relieving Patch. It's what's hot in pain relief. Imagine you could make any car you wanted. It'd have to be dependable, have a roomy, comfortable interior, and it would be worry-free for a long, long time. And it would be bulletproof, have like a jet engine and shoot lasers out of a trunk. Well, it would at least cost a lot less than any car in America. What you'd be imagining is the Kia Rio, the most affordable four-door sedan in America. Imagine that. Now get the Kia Rio starting at 8705 after 1500 cash back, plus a thousand owner loyalty bonus for qualified buyers. To draw your hair fast, you could use the bobbing method, the squeegee method, or the supersonic method. Introducing the Remington Supersonic. Its breakthrough airflow technology dries your hair faster than any other leading dryer. For beautiful hair in no time. Once there was a girl, and wherever she went, she played her Toons and Tails lantern to her heart's content. The Little Tykes toy has eight Mother Goose rhymes for every part of the day, including bedtime. The new Toons and Tails story lantern from Little Tykes. Nice job with the hamburger helper, sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah, it's even better than when Mom makes it. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, you're right. This is good. What'd you do? Mm -mm. My little secret. Now Hamburger Helper tastes better than ever. All your family's favorites. They're richer, creamier. Even the cheeseburger macaroni is cheesier now. So what do you think? I think you got yourself a job. Mm-hmm. What? New, better tasting Hamburger Helper. Now more than ever, always a hit. Tonight on a scorching Las Vegas day, what's inside this car? Help! Has CSI feeling the heat? I don't get people. All new. Then, a child prodigy disappears. Why would anyone want to take my daughter? There's hope of finding her, but the clock is ticking. I don't have time to screw around anymore. All new without a trace after CSI tonight. God has a task for Joan that will expose a secret. Well, mommy painted this? Put those away. What happened to her? It was evil, and I don't throw that word around. Joan of Arcadia, CBS Friday. Do you know how many times you've said you're sorry? I don't even know what you're apologizing for. I know, I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's just that you're hurt, and I, I just... But hey, the, you know what? 
That's, you didn't hurt me. So what's up with the guilt? I don't know. I just, I'm not good with pain, and you're in so much pain. And I was so mean to you, you know, before you got hit. Let it go, Katie. But you understand, right? I mean, I was so lost after Simon's death, and I just went a little crazy. And then I had that fever and everything, and... <sighs> okay, what I'm trying to tell you is... Katie, we both made mistakes. No guilt, all right? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. From here on in, we will have a guilt-free night. Good. So how about some food? Maybe the lasagna's ready by now. No, you know what? Why don't you just freeze that lasagna? I'm not hungry. Okay. How about a book? I could read to you. Oh, I'm a little exhausted to listen. I just, I just want to lay down. Can you help me with my leg? Oh, sure. Um, what do I do first? <laughs> Give me something to bite down on, because this is going to hurt like hell. You want to hold my hand? All right, let's do this. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, you dropped it. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. That'll be all right? Yeah, I do. But if I make you feel any better, you're back. Do you mind if I leave Sarah here for just a while while I run down to the police station? She's really anxious to find out what's going on with her dad. Well, just leave your cell phone on. If the party's over before you get back, we can arrange a pickup. Great. Wait, but I want to come with you. Oh, sweetie, I don't think they're going to let kids down there this late. You're not buying that, are you? You're just gonna have to trust me, okay? Trust me. It is better off if I go down here alone for you and your father. I'll be back as soon as I can. I want you to stop trying to protect Bonnie and start thinking about protecting yourself from going through the same kind of ordeal you went through the last time. This time will be different. Look, there's not gonna be a trial. When Marshall was charged, he didn't wait to get in front of a judge to start trying to destroy you, Jess. As soon as he was indicted, he started attacking your character, your job performance, our relationship. The man maligned you, intimidated you, damn near destroyed you emotionally. Do you remember any of that? I remember all of it. I don't want to do this, Ben. I have to then I have to stand by you. You are one amazing man, you know that? Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> We've been through some awful tests, and you have never faltered. No matter how crazed I get, you're right there. I want you happy. And I will be, as soon as Marshall Travers is out of this town. You're so sure you're gonna win. He threw me the first trial, but uh, I know him so much better now. Mm. I know how he thinks, and I can beat him at his own game. You know he's gonna be a vicious opponent. And that is why I have to get Bonnie away from him, so she'll never know how cruel he can really be. You picked the fight with the wrong man, Jessica, and it's gonna cost you. Your career, your reputation, and your daughter. That's a promise. She's interested, she knows where to find me. I could probably have Rose back in my bed whenever I want. Don't be rash, Paul. You might need that tape someday. And we both know that uh, Donovan's right. He can have Rose any time he wants. Yeah. What you just heard is this, the dying gasp of a very inflated ego. 
Rose finally told the guy to get lost. He's just doing the best he can to pretend that it didn't hurt him a bit. Look at you, you're strung tighter than a piano wire. You're on a ragged edge, my boy. <sighs> it's a little late for you to be worried about my mental health, don't you think? I'm your father. I just want you to listen. The last thing I would ever do is listen to you. Not to me, to yourself, to your instincts. Your gut is telling you that Rose is a fake. Now do something about it and finish it. heartburn two or more times a week? You may have a more serious condition called reflux disease or GERD. Heartburn care is changing. There are new medications available without prescription, but some things don't change. If not properly treated, serious heartburn can lead to esophageal cancer. Cells in the esophagus change before cancer develops. The only way to know for sure, see your doctor. Heed the label on new over-the-counter products. My advice, see your doctor. Call 1-800-HRT-BURN for a free video. Keep skin silky all winter long with Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion. Nourishing moisturizers make even the roughest skin so smooth you can't help but show it off. Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion, now available in new intense moisture formula. Come in now for TGI Friday's Double Glazed Ribs. They're basted with our rich Tennessee glaze, then finished with Friday's tangy barbecue sauce. Tear into Double Glazed Ribs, only at Friday's. If you want to keep clothes white, but don't want to use bleach, you have two alternatives. Don't get dirty. Use the bleach alternative. Tide with bleach alternative. The only detergent that whitens so brilliantly without a drop of chlorine bleach. So it's your choice. Tide with bleach alternative. Hey, little M&M's. Wow, great costumes. What do you guys like, four or five? Forty-six. All right, yeah, okay. Here you go. You don't understand, Slick. We're here for the party. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Put your hand down. Flossing? Uh, it's a hassle. Introducing new Reach Access Daily Flosser. It's got a handle. Got a handle. <laughs> it's easy. This will make me floss. New Reach Access Daily Flosser. Flossing you can handle. on CBS, the number one daytime network. You want to threaten somebody, threaten me. Oh, what's the matter, huh? You want me bully women, is that it? Coming after a man in handcuffs, huh? Who's the bully now? Ben, it's all right. It's all right. You know, he can do whatever he wants to do. There's not going to be anybody there to pull you out of the fire this time. You want to pursue this? be my guest. But you know what's going to happen? The jury will acquit me. That's right, acquit me. And you will have succeeded in clearing my name once and for all. Aren't you forgetting something? What is that? You have much more to lose this time. You have a daughter. And I don't think she'll be seeing you in quite the same way once I'm finished. What are you talking about? Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm serving Sarah with a subpoena. You're going to force a child to testify? You should have never admitted to her that you raped me. I see. So, you don't want justice. You, you just want to humiliate me in front of my daughter. And all this time, I was mistaken. I thought you were someone decent. You do love her, don't you? Of course I do. Seems to me your choice is clear. Plead guilty now and waive your right to a trial. No way. 
then I hope you're prepared to watch your daughter lose whatever innocence she may have managed to hang on to. You'll destroy her, Jessica. No, Marshall, you will. Do this my way, or I will put Sarah on the stand to testify that you admitted raping me. You will not do that. such a good friend to me and I forgot that not because of anything you did but because to be so close to having Simon and then to lose him and have him die in such a terrible way I just I lost it I, I don't know what happened I just I couldn't think I, I was sad and angry and it, Sometimes those feelings make you say terrible things, and I did, and... But they were just words. They didn't mean anything. Please understand that, Mike. I swear I would never hurt you on purpose. I would never hurt you. Please understand that. Please believe that. the same thing that's always been wrong with my life, and that's you. Don't be such a fool, Paul. Rose has betrayed you once. She's getting ready to do it again. Get her out of your life. No. She loves me. Rose is the only person in the whole world who ever did love me. Wait, wait, just a minute here. I don't quite understand. Rose jumps into bed with your best friend because she loves you? This Barbara manipulated that whole situation, and nobody feels worse about it than Rose. That was a long time ago. It's got, it's in the past now. It's got nothing to do with what, what's happening now. Oh, and what about the photographs? They're not in the past, they're now, right the now. Photographs, the ones that Barbara paid someone to take? Oh, no. The photographs that show your beloved Rose in a passionate embrace with Dustin Donovan. She still wants him, Paul. You admit that, and you save yourself a lot of pain and humiliation. Shut up. She is a tramp. She is trash. She's broken your heart once before, and if you permit it to happen again, you're pathetic. You're pathetic and you're weak, and you're an embarrassment. Stop it. Just stop it, please. Stop putting all this, this is poison into my head. It's not me. I'm not even here. You summon me up because you need me. You need me to help you. Trust what you know to be true in your heart. I'm gonna kill you. I hate you. And I don't know when. But I'm gonna kill you! Paul? Huh? Who are you talking to? On the next As the World Turns. Allison, this is the third message I've left you and you haven't called me back. We'll talk after we make love. If you're because you need my help, you're gonna have to give me an incentive. I just heard you threaten to kill somebody. No, Steve? I'm all about great meals and 30 minutes.